so this song is a basically, uh, obviously it's a love song to the love of my life, but it's also kind of a sad, um, not sad, it's a happy realization that home is where you are. Home is who you are, and home is where you choose to anchor yourself. I'm so going to cry. Home is where you choose to anchor yourself, and like the people that you see around me here are my home. And the people that are made the effort to come here are my home, no matter where I live. So this song is called, <laughs> this song is called Make This House a Home. I'm not worried about the tears, it's more the guitar. I can handle having tears on my face, okay. Oh, no. 
and I'm open for a, a chance to show you all of my, all of my, all of my, all of my love. Will this dust we just to be in? Oh, baby, well, this thing is new to me, and oh, I need it. Well, I need it. All of my love, you get all of my. Tanya asked me to talk a little bit about Vancouver, about home, and uh, so I thought I would tell uh, a little story about uh, East Vancouver in its, in its Italian days. Do we have any um, Italian-Canadian representation in the crowd? It's a few. If a long time ago, there would have, there would have been more in, in this neighborhood. Uh, the very first place I lived was on Caslow Street, and uh, to maybe put this in perspective, I was having a conversation with an Italian friend the other day, and I was getting a lot of, um, I'm French Canadian, we use a lot of hand gestures, but you put us next to an Italian, it's like uh, amateur hour, uh, or as we say, amateur. Uh, but this guy, my friend, Johnny, Johnny Parada, he's giving me, he's an East fan, boy, and he's giving me these. When he's angry, he's giving me these. And when he's happy, he's giving me these. And as I was watching him, I just kept thinking, Ah, uh, Fitbits <laughs> must be completely useless in the Italian community. There are, there are no usable data to be retrieved. I look down at my Fitbit, it's 11 o'clock. I'm thinking, oh, I already did my 10,000 steps. But I just had an argument about peppers. Uh, this neighborhood uh, is still pretty Italian. A lot of it has moved to North Burnaby, but when I lived here uh, as a one and two year old on Caslow Street, it was like uh, Godfather Part Two. You would have neighbors put bushels of uh, tomatoes on our window. That never happened in Godfather Part Two, but I feel like it, it was consistent with the world. Uh, my dad would take me out for walks in a stroller and come home, and uh, he'd be drunk from people running out with homemade grappa and wine, and it was, uh, it was a beautiful thing. My dad is Quebecois, and my mom uh, was an Anglophone, and I was very late to speech. I was a very loved child. I uh, was loved not only by my parents, but my, my uh, nanny, who was an Italian woman who lived in the 9133rd, and I'm talking Italian, like pasta drying on the open cupboard doors, Italian and I would come home with leather shoes from Kalena's and uh, bracelets and jewelry and there were children being named Charlie in Italy and they loved me and my parents loved me but I didn't speak. Uh, I was late to the game, a lot of baby talk but with wild <laughs> gesticulation, yeah. And I, I, would, I would gesticulate and I would tap my toe and speak in these elaborate baby talk sentences. My parents thought maybe he's just not hearing enough of one language at home, he's getting French, he's getting English, and, uh, or maybe he's just tired, maybe he talks during the day. And so they went uh, to my babysitter and they said, listen, we're, we're worried about Charlie. He never speaks at home. Does he ever speak during the day? And my babysitter said, uh, oh, yes. <laughs> He speak a perfect Italian. Uh, and uh, that is why uh, when uh, Tanya asked me to come down and talk about home, I put on my track pants and I can. Thank you very much. And thank you, Tanya, for including me in this beautiful night. And thank you all uh, for being here. And in 10 minutes, when you see this part of the show on the screen outside, Thank you uh, for smoking. Good night. Yes. 
Charlie Demers, ladies and gents, and those who fall in between. When I go to bed at night, boy, I'm thinking of you. Put a pin on the doorstep. I just can't do without you. Ooh, love. Ooh, you know I do. I said, I swear I will be true to you, love. In the middle of the things I do, I, I love for you, love. I've been no one of them, yeah. My love, my love, my love. Scott for Beak, ladies and gentlemen. But no one of them, yeah, my dove, my dove. Over there in the corner, I want to shout out my homie Dave Mergens real quick. Dave Mergens. I said, ooh, love, I swear I will be true to you, love. Oh, just let me do the things I do, love, love, to you, love. I put no one above you, my love, my love. Shout out to my band. Look at these beautiful souls. Shout out to yourselves! Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. Zimmy do. 
very hard.
tethered or floating towards the sky Down your sail, didn't I didn't regret it I pray that you get it Just wanna make